What's going on, everybody? This is Soulful of Soulful Sykes Gaming, bringing you guys more hunting legendary tips for Red Dead Redemption 2. So today, we are actually going to go out and we're going to see if we can hunt down the legendary white bison. So that is going to be today's task in this particular video. And definitely, if you guys haven't had the chance, go ahead and check out our previous legendary uh, hunting tips video. We've already uh, uploaded the one for the legendary buck. As well, we've already uploaded one for the legendary beaver. So those are on the channel. Definitely, if you haven't had the chance, check them out. And if you are liking these videos that I am bringing to you, definitely, we do appreciate those thumbs up. Also, if you have a chance, go ahead and take some time out. Let me hear about your experiences in Red Dead in the comment section. How is your legendary hunting going? What was your experience that you've had so far with playing the game so far? Have you came across any funny situations? Or just how much in general that you are enjoying the Red Dead Redemption 2 experience? So today we're going to go ahead and head up to Lake Isabella. Uh, the frozen lake Isabella up in the northern region of the map uh, up there you will be able to find the legendary bison white bison I'm sorry uh, as you're looking at my map you might notice there are other um, custom waypoints that I have placed on my map those are other legendary animals that we will get to eventually uh, definitely if you guys haven't had a chance go ahead and check out rdr2map.com it is a extremely helpful map uh, website that will provide you basically all the information about the Red Dead Redemption map if you're looking for the gold spots for all the gold bars the treasure hunts uh, any of the actual collectibles that are in the game that map will definitely be very helpful to pinpoint where all those locations are so definitely make sure if you are trying to play this game or if you are even a fan of already played most of the storyline but you haven't done all the collectibles yet definitely check that out because you can get quite a bit of a chunk of change when you start selling all those custom items so we're gonna head up here and we're gonna make the journey up north uh, I will need to change my clothes because once you get up there in the northern region it is going to get extremely cold and the cold will cause Arthur's uh, <clears throat> stamina to drain a lot quicker than he normally would. So you definitely want to make sure you are going to be heavily clothed. And the easiest way of doing that is just making sure that you have the winter outfit uh, attached to your horse's clothing options. So I have I think like six outfits already that are attached. So usually like I have an outfit for when I'm gonna do like missions, if I'm gonna do something stupid, I put on a different outfit. <clears throat> so you definitely wanna make sure you change that up. Also, as you can see, I do have two horses. The one I'm riding is actually my, my hunting horse. And I always bring my, my main horse with me because that's where I always put like the pelts on. I put my pelts and my carcasses on my main horse. And then with a second horse, if you have a larger animal uh, like deer or elk, you can always be able to throw two uh, carcasses on each of the horses. So that definitely is also a benefit as well. So yeah, right now we're just going to go ahead and hit that journey up north and try and try it down this white bison. Uh, definitely guys if you haven't had the chance go ahead and follow us over on Twitter at Soulful Sykes Gaming and as well check us out over on Twitch we actually have a live stream channel where we actually play the main missions of this particular game on our Twitch channel and that is twitch.tv forward slash Soulful Sykes underscore gaming so if you want to see us playing this live check us out over there and that's where we're playing most of this gameplay on that live channel uh, I actually have not made it past chapter 2. Uh, technically the last main mission I played was the Horatio legendary bear mission and pretty much since then once I got the legendary uh, animals map I basically have been doing nothing but hunting and I've mentioned that in pretty much most of my videos so definitely I am enjoying the game just the free roaming aspect of it just running around doing just the free roaming aspect and having fun 
all right so right here we're going to go ahead and switch it up we need to make sure we have the weapons from off of our horrors so that way we can protect ourselves and be able to hunt the way that we would like to and because we're getting closer to that northern region we're going to go ahead and change up the clothes because as you can see the horse are steaming so that means the temperature is dropping quite a bit we want to go ahead and make sure we get that situated Ah, all right. Having a little trouble there, but you got it situated. So now that we have the clothes on for the northern region, let's keep on up on our journey. And I, I, I have to honestly say, I love the way Rockstar made this game. Hey there! Hey there! Got a smile on my face today. Life is good when it's good. He was sure right about that. All right, so definitely let's keep on making it up here. Now, as you make the way up here, you will come across quite a few animals. This is a really good hunting trail. As you can see, there are quite a bit of different animals up here. Um, personally, I only I, I only like to hunt animals unless they are three star. I mean, I'll take a two star because two stars will give you a good pelt. And sometimes, like, if you already have the legendary buck trinket, uh, killing a two star can sometimes reward you a a perfect pelt. So definitely you, you want to make sure you get your, your legendary trinkets and your talismans. So that way you can get those additional little perks because they do help, especially in this area. Uh, that was the reason why I, I made sure I went ahead and I got the legendary buck because I needed that trinket. So that way it helps when anytime I go hunting, I can kind of get more perfect pelts. And so you will come across quite a bit. I did not hit any of these animals. Uh, I kind of wanted to make my way up to get to my main objective so we can get this done but you will see it it is quite a bit so here is part of Lake Isabella I think or no I think it's actually further up yeah it's further up be very careful when you're trudging up through this area because of the snow you will not see like the road or the trail you have to follow your map and some of these areas are very treacherous your horse can slip and fall and you definitely don't want to fall also there are wolves up here so make sure you have your weapons equipped so that way you do not get attacked and get eaten because it can happen be very careful and be very vigilant and you make sure you also want to make sure your horse has quite a bit of stamina so you might want to also like feed your horse uh, some kind of like either a carrot wild carrot or anything that you might have an apple or something just to give them a little extra strength so that way they can make it up here because even though you're covered in your winter uh, garment the horse has to stretch through the snow so their stamina also drains quite quickly as well so you want to make sure you are paying attention to that and sometimes you might have to just slow down and just let the horse just push through the snow. Alright guys, so right here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give us a chance so we can get up there. And I'm going to check back with you guys once we have made it up to the legendary animals area. Hope you guys enjoy the beautiful scenery of the mountains in the background and the scenario. That's what I meant, what I said when I love the way Rockstar built this game. 
you go into different biomes, uh, different areas of the map, the weather changes, the scenery changes, it's just an absolute beautiful sight to see what Rockstar did when they made this game. And I'm so happy, you know, saying that they they took the time out to really just take their time and make this game. Like they they really did an extremely great job making sure the game had the beautification that it needed. Um, the voice actors did an excellent job. I mean, so far, I'm loving it. I haven't even had the chance to really, you know, play the mission, so I really don't even know like what more you're gonna see when you get to those areas but uh yeah love this game i'm loving it so far and as absolutely i mean i have to be loving it i played more than almost 60 hours worth of the gameplay and i still haven't even done but maybe like the first four or five missions to get out of chapter one and the first two missions in chapter two which was take the girls to town and as well i um i did the horatio legendary bear mission so that's pretty much all i've done so far and i'm i love the way that they did everything so we are getting close to the animals. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, three star. Let me see if I can get make this shot real quick. I can use that animal. Perfect shot. Didn't even need to get off my horse. Yeah. Now I will go ahead and say this guys, what I just did I thought was a good idea and then eventually I do realize that it was not actually a good idea. You don't want to kill animals in the legendary animals uh, area because it can kind of spook the animal and then it makes it harder for you to find the clues but hey I had to learn the hard way. So as you can see, or as you just saw, we did walk into the legendary animals area. So now what we have to do is we just have to pick up the first animal trail. So now the hunt is on to go ahead and pick that up. Let me go ahead and skin this animal first so we can get that taken care of, so we can get that pelt put on the horse. And I could have just lassoed the animal instead of shooting it, but you know. Alright, so this is what I mean by killing the animal. Right now, I'm I'm not getting any of the cues. Even on my mini map, I don't see the little question mark that indicates the first location that you would start from to pick up the trail of the legendary animal. So now we have to go and try and see if we can figure out where that is. So guess you guys are going to join me while we go ahead and search we are going to actually come across some very beautiful scenery because I'm going to have to climb up on top of some of these mountains to see if I pick up anything so let's go ahead and check this out and see if we can find this white bison so we can add him to our legendary animals list be very careful guys a lot of these areas are very, very slippery. Very. <laughs> like, you see how high up I am? If I slip off that edge, yeah, that's an instant death. But it looks so beautiful up here, man. Yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I meant to do that. No, I, I did. I slipped. <laughs> so pretty much what you have to do once you get into the legendary animals area, you just keep continue to use your eagle eye. Um, another good recommendation is to also take out your map and put little waypoint marks 
and then try and go around as a circle in a circular uh, area around that waypoint mark so that way you can kind of like do a scan of the area and that way you're not too far from where your waypoint should be and then you should stay with inside the vicinity of that so that way you can also be not that far from your horses as well because if you happen to find the animal you don't want to be too far from your animal from your horses so that way they can come running over to you if you do skin other animals and if you do happen to hunt any other animals in the area also you want to be able to put those hides up on the horses as quick as possible as well so we're just going to continue to search and see what we can come up with enjoy the scenery while we take care of this guys I mean, look how beautiful that looks. You can see the frozen river at the bottom, white tip mountains in the air in the background, snow covered trees everywhere. It's just absolutely just beautiful around here, man. Amazing.
All right, so at this point, I started to get frustrated. <laughs> I will admit it. I think I had been roaming for about maybe 30 minutes searching for the animal. So yeah. So we finally found the first marker. Here we go. It, it popped up eventually on the map. I don't know why it didn't show up initially when I came into the area, but like I said, you don't want to hunt other animals in the legendary animals area. <clears throat> so you definitely always want to start off with that animal first. Here was the first scent marker. So we're going to go ahead and hit that one first. We're going to follow the trail. Perfect. Marker number two. remember guys it's always going to be a total of three scent markers that you're going to have to track down before the legendary animal appears so that's two the third one is over there near the water or close to the edge of the ice bank yeah right there I know it might be a little bit hard to see it but because of the snow it doesn't really turn the uh, the scent marker into a yellow actually the animal is right there so always make sure you put on your cover scent cover scent allows you to make sure you get extremely close to the animal as close as possible as you want to uh, you don't really want to get too close to the predators and I had to learn that the hard way I thought the cover scent was pretty good but the, the, the predator animals are pretty smart even though they can't smell you they can actually see you and they will attack you very quickly trying to get a good shot Perfect. he actually started to come directly towards me make sure you use an express ammo and I would definitely recommend using a rifle and you do also want to go ahead and possibly put a scope on that rifle as well last shot and he's down yeah Oh wow, I'm up to level 8 on my stamina? Okay, that's cool. That's crazy. I've leveled up so much and I haven't even been playing really the main game. Alright. The reward of all of this tracking. The legendary white bison screenshot all right <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and skin this guy funny thing was because he was on the side of the mountain like that oh level six on dead eye perfect oh awesome but yeah because he was on the side of the mountain like that and he wasn't on a flat surface the skin animation was really quick so that's cool throw that up there like that that's my main horse now once you've gone ahead and skinned your legendary animal you definitely want to do the first thing is go to a trapper a trapper will be the first or the best place to be able to go to get the best money for your actual legendary animals pelt as well the trapper will be able to assist you with crafting the specialty clothing items that you need with the pelts that you uh, get from legendary animals as well as other perfect pelts that you get from other animals in the actual game as well alright guys so that is my legendary white bison uh, hunting tips video make sure you're going up to the Lake Isabella area search pretty well around the area don't go up there without having on any warm clothing uh, so now we're gonna head over to the trapper and I'm gonna show you how much you actually get for this animal and it's actually pretty pretty funny because the pelt itself pays for the trinket so let's say the pelt is well I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you exactly how much the pelt is the pelt I think is like thirty two dollars when you sell it and then when you go ahead and you 
go to the fence and you try and purchase the trinket which I think the the bison's horn uh, goes to a talisman so it's actually a three-part uh, talisman item so you don't actually get to buy this particular trinket until you get all three parts for the talisman but yeah But once you, uh, most most of the uh, other animals, they do allow you to buy a trinket, and the trinkets are usually about, I think, no more than twenty-two dollars. And if you sell your pelt, and the pelt's more than that, then the pelt basically pays for the uh, the actual trinket that you're going to purchase. So remember the elk pelt I had got? That was still there. Thirty-two dollars and fifty cents for the legendary white bison. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sell out the rest of the stuff that I have on me that's eligible for pay, uh, being sold. I'm also going to go through the list of the different craftable uh, clothing items that are available. And I'm going to also speed up that portion of the video. So if you want to go ahead and see those options, uh, there is a little gear option on your playing or on your video player. And you can actually slow down the actual video gameplay. So if you want to see exactly what each recipe is required for each of these animals, you can definitely be able to do that. And I go through each one. I go through them really quickly. So as you can see, I'm just flipping through it. Yeah. So you can slow it down if you want to go ahead and really get a really good look. But that is going to be the end of this legendary hunting tips video for the white bison. Again, I am Soulful of Soulful Sax Gaming. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Uh, definitely leave a comment if you do like the content that you are seeing. And if you want to see more of the content in the future, make sure you hit that little bell. So that way you get the notifications from YouTube anytime new content comes out. And I hope you are following us over on Twitter because that is definitely going to be the first line of defense where we go to promote any of the videos that we are uploading to the channel or if we're going to go live on our Twitch channel uh, as well. So definitely make sure you're following us and as well it allows you the opportunity where you can keep up the breast on all the different things that are going on within my community and the other communities that we do support which is the X Gang community and the House of Tech so definitely keep up the breast with us on Twitter but uh, that's gonna be it guys hope you enjoyed this video again I am Soulful and I will catch you guys in the next video later guys